Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 3 of UI and believe it or not this is the most easiest module what you can learn but if uh, you don't know how to learn this module you will be ending up uh, learning a lot of concepts which are not even necessary there is a less, very less content you need to keep in mind and if you keep that content in mind I will be telling you what is that content and how do you elaborate that content you will be easily able to elaborate all the questions in one go and you need not worry much about this module easily you can score full marks if you did not score full marks then you are the most stupid person on earth okay so make sure hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this or support help me a lot and without wasting any more time let's get started the first question is what is the structure of menus you have to remember there is six structure of menus and the keyword is s s s h c e i don't know how you'll remember but you have you'll remember see already you got to know what is that s s s h c e right you have in mind right keep that in mind till the ui exam gets over so what is s s s s the first s stands for single menu single menu means what you'll be having just a single menu choices will be very simple you just have to make the choices and one of the elaboration key points you have to make here is that you have to mention how it should be looking like the choices should be present in a vertical form diagonal form horizontal form what are the differences that will come if it is in different forms and how it how it is to be presented to the user so that it will be in the most uh, optimal form what are the actions that can be performed from the menus and what is the font size of each of these those are the key points you have to mention that will fill at least one page for each of these things you have to fill a lot make this diagram half page so you can easily fill the uh, remaining pages with less content so you have to use these tricks for your own benefit next we have second s stands for sequential linear menus what all i mentioned for the first one same applies for the all rest of the questions in this module for all the questions of menu you have to do the same things how, how you can make the menu more beautiful imagine the most beautiful menu you have seen in your life all those things whatever you have in that in your mind all those you have to mention in the script examiner will love it he will give you full marks and now in the sequential menus you will be having a menu after menu after menu that kind of menu is called sequential menu just you need to know the differences now simultaneous menus in the in, by the name itself you can understand all the menus are simultaneous all the menus can make the option simultaneously that is called simultaneous menus then we have hce h is hierarchical menus like a tree structure family structure will be having the menus the um, so superior one the inferior one then the less then the less then the less like that we'll be having a structure of menu which will be having sub options all those known as levels all these key points you have to mention in the answer script that is about the hierarchical menus then we have the connected menus if the menus are connected with each other like this in this form you'll be calling it the connected menus and finally we have the event tapping menu just one sentence you need to keep in mind the background tasks are handled by the event tapping menus whatever the things you have done do in the front the background of that is performed by the tra event tapping menus since we got to know about the different type of menus it's very important for us to know what are the different functions of menus a super important question from exam point of view that's the next question what are the function of the menus there are four functions of the menus just imagine a menu what you will do when you click a menu what will happen some options will come for which you will be executing an action or a procedure for each of these when you click something it will show you some information like an open tab uh, window and you'll be using that information and you'll be inputting some data or the parameter that is called as the functional uh, function of the menus the first menu is the uh, navigation to a new menu you just navigate it to a new menu and then you executed an action or a procedure by clicking some option and it showed some information and you in entered some data input that is display of information and data and parameter input displaying information data or parameter input these are the key points just write in your own words don't even read it if you read it you are a very stupid person you are reading some useless information Moving on, we have the content of menus. A very expected question from exam point of view. There are four content of menus. Very simple: menu title, menu context, choice description, completion instructions. You'll be having a menu title. Obviously, for the title, you need to describe what the title is. Otherwise, it's a useless title. So you'll be having menu context to de describe what information the uh, user is supposed to get from that. After you have that, you'll be having choices, and choices also need some information. These are the choices. If you don't provide information, what the user will choose? He'll think all the options are same only, right? That's why you should have choice descriptions and when you choose an option you should uh, say to the user what is the completion instruction is there any next step or you have to go back or you have to just submit it or you have to cancel it where you have to go what size you have to make everything should be described in the completion instruction and you are supposed to write each and every single point what i have told you in this video Moving on, we have the next super important question, which is the phrasing of menus. In phrasing of menus, you have to remember these same things what was present in the previous one. What does phrasing mean? How the menu can be made more beautiful? This uh, module is just making the uh, menus more beautiful. Okay, the menu must communicate the nature and purpose of menu, presented choice, and how the proper choice may be selected. Guiding the user, telling the user each and every single thing how you can make the best use of the menus. So you have menu titles as previous one, menu choice description previous one, menu instructions previous one 
just intent indicator is there intent indicator means you will be having some indicators to choose something like hint and all and after that we have two keyboard things which is keyboard equivalent and keyboard accelerators that is nothing but the control c control v and all and the keyboard accelerator is nothing but you'll be having like uh, in about uh, when you see a little bit written about and a will be underlined if you click a on the keyboard it will select about right for more information refer the textbook or watch my uh, theory video moving on to the fifth super important question which is about the web navigation system here we have the uh, components of the web navigation system a simple way in which you can uh, memorize this one is that just imagine a normal website in normal website what you have you have the link present here right this is called as link and you'll be having the back button here that is called as browser command buttons here also you'll be having one button and here you'll be having a submit button that is called as command button and here you'll be having some content area where you'll be having textual phrase and you will be having some graphics just to blink your eyes to take a screenshot of this diagram you can easily write this answer and score full marks for this question so the things what you need to remember is the browser command buttons website navigation bars textual phrases then we have the graphical or textual uh, image icons and command buttons two minute process you can easily score eight marks just fill whatever you can in your answer script regarding these things moving on to the last super important question which you have is the kind of graphical menus here let me tell you what are the key points you need to write in the graphical menus uh, kinds what all you have to write is what is the particular uh, type of menu for example if i ask you about the pull down menu pull down menu what is the pull down menu you'll be clicking something and something will be getting pulled down that is why it is called the pull down menu like that you have to uh, mention the uh, sentence and then you have to draw a respective diagram as well like the diagrams all i have mentioned here for your convenience you can watch uh, you can see the diagrams and make sure you make the diagrams at least similar to that and explain what are the options are visible and what are the advantages disadvantages advantage disadvantage you can write in your own words like when is the uh, pull down menu used pull down menu is used when you have an option or it's always visible on the screen and when you want to make some sub selection like from the new you will be going and clicking on save right that's why if you need a sub selection that is the advantage disadvantage is that it occupies a long screen space horizontally on the top of the screen bar some menus are not like that some menus will be popping up whenever it is required that does not consume space but the disadvantage is it is not always visible whenever you want you can't access it it get accessed only when the situation comes right that's uh, the disadvantage advantage for more information watch the theory video or read the textbook yourself so i'll go through these um <coughs> things the images keep that in mind this is the normal menu the menu bar you will just have some options here next is the pull down menu if you click one of those options some pull down menu will come here and pop up menu means it will just click up uh, pop up like this if you right click on the uh, mouse button click uh, come something right like this one that is called as pop up menu and it will be visible wherever you want and you did not you need not move your mouse cursor a lot right if you want to see if your mouse cursor is here okay and you want to access this one you have to move your mouse till here then click on that whereas in pop up menu if you just click the right click on this place the pop up menu will come at that place only that's also an advantage and disadvantage so make sure you go through the textbook and the um, my theory video in that i have explained so this is called as the cascading uh, menu you'll be having one option another option will come another option will come like that many options will come that is called as cascading menu and uh, what are the uh, things you can write for this one is that it should not contain more than three levels if it comes like this again like this again like this it look very idiot uh, website right that should not happen you have the tier of menus in that there is no diagram tier of menus means what you can tear off the menu and keep it somewhere it's as simple as that iconic menus means all you'll be using icons what is the advantage disadvantage you know better than me icons means it will be more uh, beautiful and it will be more smart looking and it will be easily accessible no I, anyone can understand it does not require any language to understand because icons everyone knows every human knows this is the last one which is a pie menus in pie menus you can easily access from one place to another place easily and uh, that's what about the uh, module 3 if you got any doubt just have to think that you have a superpower called as common sense you can write in your own words fill down script and thank you for watching till the end make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel i'll make up more videos like this for you and i'll see you in the next one